what's going on guys so today we will be working on the m3 again um as you guys can see the m3 hood is pretty bad it's really oxidated so um when i first got the car the car actually came with this hood already and i, I didn't really know due to the oxidation on the picture and stuff so today we're gonna attempt to restore it looks like right now there is spots on it to where how it's supposed to look which would be somewhere like around here how it's shiny and then um most of the top part over here on the bump all this part is super faded no type of shine at all like i think it's just this corner right here maybe some of the front that still has a bit of shine where i'm guessing where it's not so much where the sun isn't hitting it so much as the other parts the plan here is to use um i'm thinking either like a i might do a 1500 and then a 3000 sandpaper on it and then hit it with a compound and then wax it. All right guys, so pretty much the goal is to get it around this shine. Um, we're gonna hit it with a 1500 uh, grit sandpaper and I'm gonna be using like a little sanding block and this is pretty much just water. So as you're sanding, make sure you have enough uh, lubrication on the actual sandpaper and on the whatever you're gonna be sanding. Make sure you wet the sandpaper, wet the area that you're gonna be sanding and try to keep the moisture there at all times when you're sanding um try to keep it as uh at a, on a straight pattern so you can either go up and down or side to side try not to do too much swirl marks uh, i believe it's easier to remove the actual scratches when the when you're sanding on that pattern instead of swirls so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the 1500 i'm gonna sand everything down and then show you guys what it looks like after it's sanded because it is gonna look kind of ugly and don't worry, it's, it'll, it'll, it'll be taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand the whole hood down at 1500. side sand it down i'm gonna get a maybe a bucket of water and clean off all the extra residue that is on there and then after that we have it nice and clean we're gonna hit it with the 3000 on that side again so this right here is after sanding with 1500 and then 3000 uh just like that you can already see the difference this this part looks already a little shinier without any compound without any type of buffing at all so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit it with, with this v36 from chemical guys it is a uh, optical great cutting polish we're going to be using chemical guys orange pad which is a cutting pad and we're going to drop four hex size drops on here yeah. 
So I'm gonna hit it with speed, maybe uh, two, two and a half, and uh, just mix it around. And then once it's all nice and mixed around, I'm probably gonna up it to a four, four, uh, 4 4.5, and uh, let it do the cutting. Don't put too much pressure. Uh, the compound will do the work itself. So just move it around. Don't stay in one spot too long because you can burn the actual paint or whatever you're working on. Let's go ahead and do this right now. So as you guys can see, um, this is before the actual compound. This is after the compound, guys, and you still there is some swell marks. I'm not too sure if those are before or not, but guys, this thing looks great compared to that side and after the compound. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the rest of the, the hood and show you guys the before and after on it. So let's go ahead and do this. After this, I'm gonna hit it with the wax. So, don't know yet i'm trying to figure this up so okay i'm gonna go ahead and uh continue the compound on the rest of the, the this side of the hood and then see exactly what it looks like on both sides i just got done compounding this side the little marks you guys see on the actual hood it's clouds guys it's not oxidation or anything like that which it kind of does look like it but i'm gonna go ahead and hit it now with this v38 which is a great final uh polish we're gonna be using the black hex pad same thing four dots uh size of a hex and that'll be the actual final look of this um restoration so i'm gonna go ahead, i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then show you guys exactly what it looks like it is currently the next day um yesterday i did hit it with that v36 and v38 but i wasn't too happy with the results as you can tell well maybe not right now but it's not as shiny as it was supposed to be uh as you can see right here it's still a little like oxidated a bit it is still it's dirty this side's dirty but i wasn't too happy with these results so i went ahead and i picked up a new product that just came out which is going to be this c4 from chemical guys and it's supposed to be better than uh, v32 v34 v36 and v38 so what we did here is we did hit this whole side with the new v uh with the new c4 and not this side so you i did only this part so you guys can see a comparison but I actually really liked, really, really like how the C4 came out. Guys, this is with the C4. And then we use, we use this butter, butter wet wax as a sealer. He told me it's supposed to last around six months. Technically what it does, it seals and it brings out the shine on the surface of whatever you're sanding. And guys, I'm telling you, look at that. It did an amazing job, way better than I expected. I was actually kind of disappointed after I um, I sanded down. I hit it with the V32 because you can see a lot of a lot of the scratches. So as you can see, this is this part right here is still from the V32, and then this would be from the C4. So there is still very 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 small scratches on it, but not noticeable at all. And just just for comparison, so I'm gonna go ahead hit the rest of the hood with the C4 and the butter wax and then show you guys how it looks in the sun. And I'm, I think I think, I'm gonna, I think you guys are gonna love it because I'm actually really excited to finish it up and show you guys the final results. I just got finished doing the whole thing, uh, compound and the wax. And guys, I can tell you right now, this thing is shining like crazy. Look at that. Look at look how freaking shiny that thing is, dude. Bro, the reflection. Oh my god. That is incredible results, guys. 
So guys, there you have it. I hope this tutorial was very useful for you guys. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop comments. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and leave some comments for me. Hope you guys like how it came out. I feel like it made the appearance on the M3 come out way better and you know, come out more and make it look nicer. So there it is. And don't forget to subscribe again, guys. Till next time.